In today's tutorial, we're going to look at creating animated social media posts using Canva. So if you're on the Canva homepage, you're going to want to scroll all the way down and it's quite far down there. You're going to look for animated social media. Okay, So here it is, animated social media. And as you'll see, there's some really cute uh, animated posts that you can use. And you can scroll through to see a few different ones here. Or you can click on the see all link to see even more options. So let's go ahead and click on see all. And from there we'll be brought to the main template page. And you'll see here on the top right hand corner there are over 200 different templates that you can choose from. You can also create a blank template. And if you'd like to sort by color you can do so by clicking up here. So if your Instagram page has a lot of pink in it, you can go ahead and sort by that color. So I'm going to go ahead and clear because I want to take a look at all of the different options here. So if you hover over the different posts, you'll be able to see how they animate. And the great thing is you can use it for just about anything. So announcements like someone's birthday, you've got sales, cute little quotes. There's tons of different options to choose from. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down. And this one's quite nice but I'll keep on scrolling down just to see what the other ones are like. Lots of birthday ones. This is kind of fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this one and it's, it's not a huge deal if you change your mind. Uh, once you click on the template, you'll notice here on the left hand side that you'll still see all of the other templates available. So now that we've chosen an animated social media template, we're going to go ahead and edit it to our liking. And obviously one of the first things you're going to want to do is change the photo in the middle. So you can either use a stock photo or you can upload a photo of your very own. So first I'll show you how to use a stock photo. Head on over to photos. And from there, we can drag and drop any photo that we like. And if we'd like to change the positioning or the size of the image inside here, you can double click and then drag it around or you can even make it bigger. And now it's a little more centered and the cupcakes take up more of the photo. So that's one option that is looking for a stock image to use, but you can also upload your own photo or even your own video. So to do that, click on the Uploads tab. And from there, you're going to click on the Upload Media button and then browse through your files and upload whichever image or video that you'd like to upload. I'm actually just going to go ahead and use a video that I already have here. So again, we're going to drag and drop into the photo section. And just like we did for the photo, we can actually double click on the video to resize it and reposition it. And then we'll go ahead and press play just to see what it looks like. So there we have it. We've got a video in place. And the next thing that we'll want to do is update the text. So simply double click on the text and then replace it with whatever you'd like. Now, if you'd like, you can resize the text and you can also change the font. So up here, you'll notice currently the font is moon time. Go ahead and click on the drop down button and then choose another font. That one's quite nice. I quite liked the first one, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick holiday. And like I said, from there you can resize it. And if you resize, you can go ahead and drag it so that it is centered. And whenever you hit a solid line like that in the center, it means that you're right in the middle of the graphic or of the, I guess, animated clip. So another thing that we can do here is change the color of the background. 
And to do that, we're going to have to move this animated layer kind of out of the way so that we can access the background. If we click on it, you'll notice that the color appears up in the top left. And from there, we can go ahead and play around with different background colors. Now, we'll probably want to keep it a bit lighter because the confetti as well as the font is a bit darker. And once you've chosen the background color, we'll drag the animated clip back. I find that this Polaroid image or video looks a bit small, so I'm going to go ahead and make it bigger. So click on it and then drag. And then just reposition it. You can also add a bit of shadow or something behind the text to make it pop a bit more. So go ahead and click on the text and hit effects. And from there you can play around. There's shadow, lift, hollow, and so on. Maybe not that one. The shadow is nice. So we'll just go ahead and reposition it. And there you have it. You've got one animated social media post. So I'm going to go ahead and play around with a few more. And to do that, instead of creating a whole new uh, file, let's say, I'm going to click on the add page button and that will create a blank page for us to play with. So once we've got that page set up, I'm going to go ahead and click on templates and then go through the different templates again, just so that you can get a better idea of what the options are. I did quite like this one. So once you find a template on the left hand side that you like, simply click on it. And just like we did with the other one, we can go ahead and edit it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on photos and just find some different pictures that I like. And simply drag and drop. And don't forget that if the image is not positioned just the way that you like it, simply click on it, double click on it and uh, reposition it. Once you're done uploading all of your images and dragging them over onto the template, you can double click on the text and replace it with whatever you'd like. You literally saw just how fast you can make these animated posts. I'll go ahead and make another one. We're going to head on back to templates again. And this time I'm going to make a quote. So the first thing I'm going to do is change the main color here. Click on the color and then you can play around with it a little bit. I like that color and you can even just leave the text on here. Like if you think that this looks great, that's fantastic. You can go ahead and simply use this if you'd like. So let's say you're happy with these. You can go ahead and click on the download button in the top right hand corner. You don't need to change the file type. It's already set as a, an MP4 video. You do have the option to choose PNG or JPEG if you want to just save it as an image, but I'm assuming you want it to be animated. So if that's the case, just keep it at MP4 video. And then from here, you can either download all of the pages, so all of the clips, or you can select just one, for example. Once you select however many you want to download, go ahead and click on the done button and download. And that's it. You now have several animated social media posts ready to go. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more Canva tutorials, tips and tricks.